If you're feeling a little bit blah about your wardrobe at the moment, these tips about how to elevate your style are gonna be exactly what you need to get out of that style rut. What is up, party people? My name is Haley, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you some tips and tricks I have to really elevate your style and help take it to the next level. These are all things that I have incorporated in my wardrobe that have really made me feel more confident in what I wear and more confident in just picking out my outfit every day, so I think it'll be really beneficial for you as well. Before we get into it, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below if you wanna see more style content from me. And give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see these tips and let's just get right into it. The first tip that I have is to elevate your basics. Elevating your basics is really about adding that extra level of flair to your wardrobe while sticking to relatively neutral styles and neutral tones. Now, let me explain. Think about pieces that scream timeless, but with subtle and unique details that really take them to the next level. So this is where you want to look for basics that are just more interesting in terms of textures, cuts, or just small embellishments. These details can make a really, really big difference and they can elevate your overall look without straying too far from the versatility of those standard basics. Remember that elevating your basics is really about finding that sweet spot between classic simplicity and distinctive style. So the next tip I have is to experiment with different styles of pants and jeans. If you're someone who sticks solely to one type of style when it comes to your jeans or your pants, I really encourage you to break free of that monotony of a single silhouette. I used to be someone who only wore one style of pant, just a straight leg pant. And I slowly learned that there were so many different styles that actually looked good on me. I have everything from straight leg to wide leg, to loose and baggy, to no skinny jeans, sorry, but like something a little bit more fitted. I have all of those things and they really help diversify my wardrobe. Just having more diversity in your bottoms can really help transform your wardrobe and it can help keep your style a little bit more fresh and your closet just a little bit more dynamic. My next tip is to incorporate playful shoes. Now this doesn't have to be anything crazy, but I do think that you can elevate your style more when you are leaning into statement shoes or even more just subtle shoes, but they add a little bit of something to your wardrobe. So this is where you can experiment with different types of things like textures. So a snakeskin boot is a really good option or even color. So something like a colorful sling back heel. I think those are just really, really great options. And they just add a little bit more depth to your outfit that just makes it more interesting. It elevates your style, the whole point of this video. It just brings it to the next level. Those types of things make me look at people's outfits and be like, wow, that really just like brought it all together. Also, don't be afraid to experiment with different types of shoe structures. So, so things like the toe shape, you can have a square toe, you can have a pointy toe. There are options here as well as the heels. So heels are a really good way to also elevate your style because you can have so many different types. All to say that textures, colors, the shape of the toe, the heel shape, the heel height, the whatever, play with it, have fun with it. I think that shoes are often overlooked as a piece that can really elevate our wardrobe and um, we should change that right now. Okay, the next tip I have is gonna be accessorizing with the right type of jewelry. I'm a sucker for a really dainty, delicate jewelry piece that I feel like can add a touch of sophistication to your look without overpowering anything. But also don't be afraid of more bold jewelry. I mean, like earrings like this or a statement necklace or something. I think it's just about having the right balance when it comes to your jewelry. And the thing I love about jewelry is that you can really curate jewelry within itself. And by that, I mean you can mix metals to create a different effect, or you can lay your necklaces or stack your rings, or there's just so many options that you can do with jewelry. Similar to shoes, I think that jewelry is a really great way to experiment with different textures and colors and gemstones and lengths and pendants and you know, the whole thing. I think it's just a really great option to accessorize and really elevate your outfit and you know take it to the next level. So I've already mentioned this next tip a few times but as I sit here in an all black outfit I recommend that you add some color. <laughs> this is something I'm definitely trying to lean a little bit more into. I've talked about it quite a bit on my channel and I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job honestly but I don't know something just like keeps pulling me back to neutrals and beiges and whatever but 
we're trying. I think neutral tones definitely have their place in your wardrobe, but don't shy away from a subtle pop of color. I've been adding a lot more color to my wardrobe lately and I'm loving it. I feel like it actually boosts my mood a little bit more. Maybe I should, maybe I should change. <laughs> you can go super bold with a color. You can have like a bold pair of pants or a bold top or like a bold coat or something like that. I think that that's awesome. Or you can go for a more subtle color, which is a good way to kind of reintroduce yourself to color if you are not used to wearing it. So things like muted tones or pastel colors. So I think that adding color is a really simple but effective way to elevate your style. So definitely don't shy away from it. My next tip to elevate your style is to own a couple different types of belts. Now let's break it down. I have this one belt that I've been wearing for years. It's from H&M. It was like the cheapest thing in the world, but it just has held up so nicely and I love it. And then when I was traveling this summer, I forgot my belt and I went and bought another one from H&M and it was similar in the sense where it was just a black belt, but it had a like a bigger gold buckle on it. And I was like, wow, I didn't realize I was missing like the beauty of a bigger buckle. So that made me kind of go on this path of wanting to get more belts just because I feel like they are such a good way to balance your look. I think that most of the time when an outfit looks incomplete, it's because you're not wearing a belt. Now I understand belts are for like holding your pants up and or making your pants fit better and that's cool. Um, I don't really use them for that though. I just use them to kind of like wrap my outfit up in a nice pretty little bow slash belt and make it just, I don't know, amazing, amazing. So belts are cool because there's just so many things you can do with them. Like a slim belt you can use for your pants. It's gonna help you accentuate your waist a little bit more. Or you can experiment with larger belt buckles. Those bold buckle belts act as a really good focal point to your outfit. I recommend having at least two, maybe a more like simple one, and then maybe one that has just like a little bit bigger of a buckle. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Like both of mine are black and gold, one just has a bigger buckle than the other, but they both just perform differently and that's why I love them. So this next tip, we've heard quite a bit from people over the past few years and uh, I just wanna talk about it for a hot second. And it's buying fewer, but better. When it comes to really elevating your style, I do think that quality sometimes triumphs quantity. Now, I do not think that this should be the only rule for your wardrobe. So make sure you're having fun with your style, but I think there are a couple categories where you can invest in higher quality pieces and that will really pay off when it comes to your wardrobe because again, it's gonna elevate it. I think the core categories that are really good to invest in are t-shirts, blazers, and jeans or trousers. I just think that if you buy in those categories some well-fitted, durable pieces that are gonna withstand the test of time, it's gonna make it easier to elevate your wardrobe. You don't need to spend an arm and a leg for affordable basics. I have a video I will link here that talks all about my favorite basic brands that are not gonna cost you an arm and a leg, so be sure to check those out. But all in all, I think that investing in those classic pieces is gonna really help you transcend and trends and it's really gonna just kind of give your wardrobe a little bit more stability but again I'm not saying that's like the only thing that you should do like don't go crazy have fun I say that all the time have fun with your wardrobe the next thing I want to talk about is something I've been really into lately and it's adding texture to your wardrobe the thought of adding textures to my outfit gets me so excited for some reason. I think it's because I overlooked textures for so long. And then I realized that like the options for textures in your wardrobe are kind of endless. Like even just a cardigan like this, that's a waffle stitch that adds texture. It gives a little bit more visual interest to your look. And of course, seasonal textures are always fun. So when it comes to the fall and the winter, more knit type of textures, leather and suede are really nice options. And then when we get into the warmer months, things like linen or embroidery or anything, oh, like, um, oh my God, what was it called? Like crochet, crochet materials. I just got very excited about crochet. <laughs> Textures are a really great way to add some harmony to your look, add a little bit of balance. We love it. 
So the next tip I wanna talk about is well-fitting undergarments. Now, some people might not care and that's totally fine, but I'm just not a big fan of having like panty lines or really obvious bra lines or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just it just doesn't work for me and that's okay. So that's why I think it's a really good to have some seamless styles as options when it comes to your undergarment selection, just in case you need them for whatever reason, depending on what you're wearing. You do not need to wear a thong to have no panty lines. Like I promise you, I have some good options. I'll put them here or in the description and you can shop those brands that are not gonna force you to wear a thong to have no, uh, to have no panty lines. <laughs> I will also tag some seamless bras down below and show you some here that I would recommend. Again, I don't think this is the biggest deal in the world, but I do think that it can make your outfit look a little less savory if you have a lot of like panty lines or anything like that. So whatever, just my opinion, do what you want. And the last tip I have when it comes to elevating your style is maintaining the quality of your wardrobe. I think that elevating your style goes way beyond just choosing the right pieces. It involves proper maintenance of your clothes and here are some tips that I have to help you stay on that maintenance train. So first things first, I am someone who can't stand a wrinkle. Okay, I hate wrinkly clothes. It drives me nuts. So that's my first tip is try to keep your clothes as wrinkle free as possible. I just have a little tiny portable steamer. It's a good option to just have on deck at home. Of course, I use mine probably every single day. Like even if I fold my jeans weird, I have to steam them. I just, I don't know. I just like, I can't deal with the wrinkles. But when I'm traveling, which is like 90% of the time, I can't bring my portable steamer, even though it's a portable steamer, but I can't bring it because I mostly travel out of a carry-on and it's just too much to, uh, to pack. So I use the, um, what is it called? The, uh, looking at my notes. Okay. I use the Dawn wrinkle. What is it? Okay. I use the Dawn wrinkle releaser spray, which I am obsessed with. I bring it everywhere I go when I travel. It's just a spray that you spray on your clothes. Um, and then you kind of like wipe the wrinkle out and it goes away and I love it. So if you're someone who travels or I don't know, maybe you don't like the steamer or something, um, that is one recommendation I have just to, I don't know, make sure your clothes don't have too bad of wrinkles. The other tip that I have for maintaining the quality of your wardrobe is depilling your sweaters or cardigans or anything like that. Pilling is inevitable for some sweaters. I mean, I haven't had any with this yet, thank God. But I do have quite a few sweaters, especially like my cheaper sweaters that have some pilling and it's just the name of the game, it just happens. But you can buy one of those deep hilling little gadgets on Amazon. I will link one down below and it will help remove any fuzz or any pills that are building up on your sweater and help it return to new or semi new, something like that. Last thing I want to recommend when it comes to maintaining your wardrobe is just making sure that you're following the care instructions of your items. If you have a nicer item or something that it doesn't even have to be like the nicest thing in the world, it could just be something that you want to have in your wardrobe forever just look at the care instructions and make sure that you're taking proper care of it i also want to say that i know it can be really tough for people who either don't have laundry in their home or you have to pay for your laundry like separating everything and making sure like this fabrics with that or like this color whatever like i know that that's tough don't be afraid to wash your shit in the bathtub okay <laughs> If you have something that's really delicate and you don't really want to like risk throwing it in the wash or maybe you're just not even sure what to do with it like i've washed my clothes in the bathtub or like the sink so many times just because i'm like i don't want to potentially ruin this by putting it in the machine washer so no shame in bathtub washing okay Okay, you guys, that is the end of the video. Leave a comment down below either what was your favorite tip or give me a tip on how you elevate your style. Like, what did I miss on this list? What do I need to know? What do we all need to know? Share with the class, please. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching as always. I'm so appreciative of your support and I will see you next time. Bye.